Hello students welcome to this session in this session we will learn about circles and mainly we are going to study various properties of tangents of a circle so first of all let us see what are tangents if in a given plane there is a circle and there is a line and there is no intersection between these two so we say line xy is non intersecting with respect to circle now if the line is brought closer to the circle in such a way that it touches the circle at only one point then we say the line xy is a tangent to the circle at point p now if we further move this line to intersect the circle at two different points then we say line xy is a secant to the circle i hope you all are aware with the difference between a secant and a chord now how many tangents can be drawn to a circle let us see various possible cases for this if the given point is inside the circle and if we try to draw tangents from this point to the circle then we can see this line through point p will intersect at two points on the circle so we cannot draw any tangent to a circle from the point inside the circle now if the point is brought on the circle then we can draw only one tangent from that point to the circle because all other lines will intersect at two points to the circle and if the point is in the exterior of the circle then we can draw two tangents to the circle from the point which is outside the circle now there are few theorems about tangents and circle the first theorem is the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact so if a circle with center o is given and a tangent xy is touching the circle at point p then radius at point p that is op will be perpendicular to the tangent line xy so we are given with a circle with center o and tangent xy to the circle at point p we need to prove that op is perpendicular to xy now if we take a point q on xy other than point p and then join oq since q is outside the circle because there is only one common point between line and the circle that is point p and rest all other points of the line xy are in the exterior of circle so obviously oq will be greater than the length of op or we can say op is less than oq now this is true for every point on xy except point p because all other points are in the exterior of the circle so their distance from center will be always greater than the radius that means that op is the shortest distance from point o to the line xy and we are very much aware that the shortest distance between a point and a line is always perpendicular distance hence the radius op is perpendicular to the tangent xy at the point of contact
now the another theorem says that the lengths of tangent drawn from an external point to a circle are equal now you must be guessing that the tangent is a line and how can we measure the length of a line so first of all what is the length of the tangent now if a tangents are drawn from external point then the distance between that external point to the point of contact on the circle here in in this case we have point a and point b as points of contact so the length pa and pb are called length of tangents the theorem says that this length of tangents from external point to a circle are equal so we have given with a circle with center o and two tangents pa and pb from the external point p and we need to prove that pa is equal to pb now for this we need to join op oa and ob so now we have two triangles that is triangle oap and triangle obp in that angle oap is equal to angle obp as we have just seen in our previous theorem that they are radii at the point of contact to the tangent so radius and tangent are perpendicular at the point of contact then op is a common side between these two triangles and oa equals to ob as they are the radii of the same circle so by rhs congruence rule we say that triangle oap is congruent to triangle obp and since the triangles are congruent their corresponding parts are equal so pa equals to pb as we commonly say this as cpct hence the lengths of the tangent tangents from external point are equal now one more uh, result we can see from this theorem that is the center lies on the bisector of angle between the two tangents the angle apb is bisected into two parts that is op divides angle apb in two equal parts and similarly op also divides angle aob in two equal parts now let us see few questions where we can apply these theorems and try to solve the questions the first question says that if tangents pa and pb from a point p to a circle with center o are inclined to each other at 80 degrees then find angle poa so we are given with two tangents pa and pb from the external point p and angle apb is 80 degrees we need to find angle poa so for this we need to join oa and op now just in our previous theorem we have seen that the line joining the external point with the center bisect the angle between two tangents so op bisects angle apb so angle apo is half of angle apb which is given 80 degrees and that is equal to 40 degrees and we know angle oap is 90 degrees because it is angle between radius and tangent at point of contact now using the angle sum property of a triangle in triangle oap 
we get angle POA as 180 degrees minus the sum of other two angles that is 90 and 40 degrees which gives the answer as angle POA equals to 50 degrees. In the next question it is given that two concentric circles of radii 5 cm and 3 cm find the length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle. That means we are given the two concentric circles where the outer circle has radius OA that is 5 cm and inner circle has radius OC that is 3 cm and AB is a tangent to smaller circle at point C and AB is also the chord for larger circle. We need to find the length of AB. So we know that OC is perpendicular to AB because it is an angle between radius and tangent for the smaller circle at point of contact C. So by applying no, AC is equal to BC which is half of AB. If we consider the chord AB for larger circle then perpendicular drawn from the center bisect the chord. So OC bisect the chord AB. Now applying Pythagoras theorem in triangle OCA we have AC square is equals to OA squared minus OC squared and OA and OC are the radii of outer and inner circle. So by putting the values and Simplifying this, we get AC squared equals to 16. That means AC equals to 4 centimeter. If AC is 4 centimeter, then AB would be double of it, that is 8 centimeter. Hence, the required length of the chord of the larger circle AB is 8 centimeter. The next question says that in the given figure PQ is 28 centimeter and we need to find the perimeter of triangle PLM. So we are given with PQ is 28 centimeter and we need to find the perimeter of triangle PLM. Now PQ and PT are two tangents from the external point P so their lengths are equal and that is 28 centimeter. Also LQ is equals to LN and MN equals to MT as these are also tangents from external point so their lengths are equal. Now the perimeter of triangle PLM is the sum of its three sides that is PL plus LM plus PM. Now LM side can be written in two parts as LN plus MN and we know that LN is equal to LQ and MN is equal to MT as we have just written in the previous step. So by replacing those line segments we have perimeter equals to PL plus LQ plus MT plus PM and if we see in the diagram PL plus LQ is the line segment PQ and MT plus MP is the line segment PT. So the perimeter is now the sum of two tangents that is PQ plus PT and we know each of these tangents are 28 centimeter. So the perimeter of the triangle is 56 
सेंटीमीटर इन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ क्वाड्रिलेटरल ए बी सी डी इज सर्कमस्क्राइब इज ड्रॉन टू सर्कमस्क्राइब अ सर्कल वी नीड टू प्रूव दैट द सम ऑफ ऑपोजिट साइड्स आर इक्वल दैट इज ए बी प्लस सी डी इज इक्वल टू ए डी प्लस बी सी सो कोडरिलेटरल ए बी सी डी सरकम स्क्राइब्स अ सर्कल दैट मीन्स ऑल फोर साइड्स ऑफ द कोडरिलेटरल आर टेंजेंट्स टू द सर्कल सो ए बी इज टेंजेंट एट पॉइंट पी बी सी इज टेंजेंट एट पॉइंट क्यू CD is a tangent at point R and AD is a point is a tangent at point S to the circle. We need to prove that AB plus CD is equals to AD plus BC. That is, sum of opposite sides of the quadrilateral are equal. Now, using only one theorem, that is, tangents from external points are equal, we can write. AP equals to AS tangents from point A. Similarly, tangents from point B, BP equals to BQ. Then tangents from point C, CR equals to CQ. And from point D, DR equals to DS. Now, if we add all these four equations, we get. AP plus BP plus CR plus DR on left hand side, and AS plus BQ plus CQ plus DS on right hand side. Now, if we see in the figure, AP plus BP is the side AB. In the same way, CR plus DR is the side CD. on right hand side as plus ds gives the side ad and bq plus cq gives the side bc hence our required result that is sum of opposite sides of the quadrilateral are equal The next question is similar to the previous one. Prove that a parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. So we are given with a parallelogram instead of a general quadrilateral, and we need to prove that parallelogram is a rhombus. So we are given with a parallelogram ABCD circumscribing a circle. That means all four sides. are tangents to the circle at four different points we need to prove abcd is a rhombus that is all four sides are equal so just as the previous proof tangents from external point are equal we can conclude that the sum of opposite sides of this parallelogram are equal that is sum ab plus cd is equal to ad plus bc now give this as result 1 now we know that the opposite sides of parallelogram are equal so ab is equal to cd and ad is equal to bc give this result as number 2 Now combining result one and result two, we can write AB plus CD as two times AB as they are equal, and similarly AD plus BC as two times AD as they are also equal because they are opposite sides of parallelogram. Now removing cancelling out two from both the sides, we get AB equals to AD. that is our result 3 
in the diagram it represents two adjacent sides of a parallelogram so from result 2 and 3 we have opposite sides equal as it is a parallelogram and we have proved in result 3 that adjacent sides ab and ad are also equal so we can conclude all four sides are equal that is ab is equal to bc is equal to cd is equal to ad hence we can say that abcd is a rhombus the next question it says that in the given figure xy and x dash y dash are two parallel tangents to a circle with center o and another tangent ab with point of contact r intersecting xy at a and x dash y dash at b prove that angle aob is 90 degrees so we are given with xy parallel to x dash y dash as two tangents and ab is also a tangent to the circle we need to prove angle aob as 90 degrees so for this we need to construct a line segment joining center with the point of contact so join op oq and or now as xy is parallel to x dash y dash and op perpendicular to xy oq perpendicular to x dash y dash as they are the radii to the radii and they are the angles between radii and tangent at the point of contact so with these three conditions we can say that poq is a straight line now in triangle opa and triangle ora we have op equals to or as they are the radii of the same circle ap is equals to ar as they are the tangents from external points to the circle and oa is the common side so by sss congruency rule we say that triangle opa is congruent to triangle ora so as the triangles are congruent their corresponding parts are also equal here we take angle 1 an angle 2 as equal corresponding parts that is angle poa and angle roa let this be our first result now in the similar way we can prove triangle oqb is congruent to triangle orb and then we can say that angle 3 equals to angle 4 as their corresponding parts So this is our result number two. Now we have already proved POQ is a straight line. So the sum of these four angles, angle one plus angle two plus angle three plus angle four, will be 180 degrees. And using our result one and result two, we can write this equation as twice of angle two plus twice of angle four equals to 180 degrees. now taking out two common and cancelling from both the sides we have angle 2 plus angle 4 equals to 90 degrees now angle 2 plus angle 4 that means from the figure it is angle aob which is equal to 90 degrees and hence we have proved our required result in the next question in the given figure abcd is a quadrilateral and it is circumscribing a circle with center o 
and AD is perpendicular to AB. If the radius of the circle is 10 cm and the other measurements are given in the figure, we need to find the value of X. So we are given with radius of the circle 10 cm, the tangent CR as 27 cm and the side CB of the quadrilateral as 38 cm and two sides of the quadrilateral AD and AB are perpendicular to each other. We need to find the value of X that is the side AB of quadrilateral. So for this we join O and P. Now we know that tangents from external points, external point to a circle are equal. So CR is equal to CQ and we know CR equals to 27 centimeter. Therefore, CQ is also 27 centimeter. Also, BQ and BP are tangents from external point B, so they are also equal. And we can find that value as the difference of 38 and 27, that is 11 centimeter. Now, in quadrilateral APOS, Angle A equals to 90 degree which is given. Angle S and angle P are also 90 degrees because <coughs> they are the they are at the point where radius and tangent are meeting. And therefore we can say by angle sum property of quadrilateral that angle O is also 90 degrees. So all four angles of quadrilateral APOS are 90 degrees. So it can be either a rectangle or a square. But we also have OS equals to OP as they are the radii of the same circle and which are forming the adjacent sides of this quadrilateral. So if adjacent sides are equal and all four angles are 90 degrees, we can say that APOS is a square. So the side AP is also 10 cm. Now to find the value of X that is the sum of AP and PB we know AP is 10 cm and BP is 11 cm. So the value of X is 21 cm. Let us summarize what we have learned in this session. Tangent to a circle is a line that touches the circle at only one point. The point at which the tangent touches a circle is called point of contact. If the point of contact or if the point is in the interior of the circle then we cannot draw any tangent to the circle from that point. We can draw only one tangent to a circle from a point which is on the circle and we can draw two tangents to the circle from the point which is outside the circle. Now tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact <coughs> that was our theorem 1 and the length of tangents to a circle from an external point are equal and also the center of circle lies on the angle bisector of angle between two tangents from the external point. I hope you have liked the session and enjoyed the learning. Thank you for joining the session.